So we're in the field here with Elston Solberg, who's the president of AgriTrend uh, Agrology. And Elston, this is a training day for the agri coaches. What are you finding and what are we doing in the field right now? This particular field, we're trying to use some various technology, which is part of the precision management process. And I uh, had the uh, extreme good fortune of walking into the field with Miss, uh, with AgriCoach Dennis Vermette and his uh, his little GPS unit. And uh, we visited first an area that has had an EC reading of a roughly 25. So it means uh, relatively low conductivity, probably light textured soil. It happened to be up on a ridge just in behind me. Then we, we then moved to uh, an area that had a electrical conductivity of about 50, uh, which means it is saltier and heavier textured. And lo and behold, on the low EC material, we found lots and lots of sulfur deficiency. Uh, small, less intensely yellow blooms, and in the area that had the higher uh, EEC, uh, virtually no sulfur deficiency. So why would that be that there be uh, more sulfur deficiency in the low EC area? The low EC area is going is in a higher slope position. It's got lower organic matter levels, um, higher sand content, which means the sulfate is likely leaching through the profile. In the higher e, uh, EC zone, which was down slope, we have not only more salt, of which sulfate is a salt, we also have more clay and likely more organic matter, which both contribute to holding the sulfur in place and or releasing more sulfur from the organic matter. It's classic. Precision management process, how would a farmer employ this knowledge now and make some differences in this field? You could strategically apply uh, different levels of sulfur across this field. And my guess is that if we look at uh, the nitrogen levels in some of the uh, lower EEC areas of this field, we could do some precision stuff there as well. Not to mention potassium and likely copper and God knows what all, but uh, classic, classic symptomology scattered across this field. It's very cool.